Carl thank God Hillary, play for Duma United, the midfielder, attacking midfielder to be precise. I've been with Duma United from last season, the NNL. It's been a very wonderful feeling, like serious, a very wonderful feeling for, uh, for the fact that Duma United is a new team in the NNL and we got promotion to the MPFL. I must say it's a very wonderful feeling. It was our playoff in Bauchi when we played against Duma United. Yeah. Uh, I played with family worship then, then NLU. It's like I saw the players in Duma, they were very young and they were always as they were giving their best. So I told my friend Innocent when the chairman of Duma United contacted me, I told Innocent that it would be very good for me to play for this team because they have young players and they are ready to play. So that was what motivated me to join Puma United. Initially, when we saw the draw, we were like, this group is somehow very easy for us. If I told the players that if we put, as in, if we cross our mind that we were going to get the promotion, definitely we will. Because the group wasn't that hard. We just had teams like uh, Jigawa and Adamawa to contend with. So I told the players then that. If we were to put in more effort, we we'll definitely get the promotion more. Well, thank God we did. No much difference. No much difference. There's no much difference. It's though the NNL is very, very as in the much energy needed in the NNL. Then or in the MPFL it's just you have to play with your you have to keep your heads up because if you make any silly mistake, definitely that will be a goal against you. It's a very good feeling, you know. Um, I've always wanted to play in the MPFL, and thank God Duma United gave me the opportunity to do. It has been a very good feeling, I must confess, seriously. Yeah, since I've played against as in more professional players that have been in the MPFL for years, we playing against them now. I've learned many things, like many new things. Every game there, I just take fruit and water does it. Uh, that will be swallow. Ah, uh, like swallow. Just prepare pounding for me and a goosey soup. Hot one. <laughs> <laughs> there are plenty of them I'm close with. Uh, you want to mention names now, man. So stay here for long. But I'm very close to many players in the team. That would be Jumbo. <laughs> you know that Jumbo is very funny uh, in the dressing room and sometimes adequately. Maybe when he gets up to dance and stuff like that. But Jimbo is a very funny guy. But most of the players do funny things too in the dressing room. But Jimbo, I'll give it to him. The first time I came to Duma, the challenges was for communication. When I came to Duma, communication was my as it was my challenge. But now at least my house is getting more like now I'm learning more so I can act, I can be able to communicate with them now. It wasn't really disappointing. It wasn't disappointing that we finished in the sixth place at all. It wasn't disappointing because this is our first time playing in the MPFL, you know, and we played against teams like Rivers and teams that have been in the MPFL for long. So I so far, so good. We did our best, and I know the second round we are, we are playing, and we're hoping that we'll be in the top three and definitely we will. But so far, so good. They've been doing their job, and we've been training now for like if you give the technical crew opportunity, they will train us for six hours per day. <laughs> they've been training, and we've been working hard on it. We've been talking to ourselves as the player to make sure we come out that top three and that's our aim to we'll make sure we achieve it at the end. I 
I love the I love the fans. They are very 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 loving, and my relationship with them is having <laughs> something because they do come to the camp. Like they do come to see how it's come, check on us and stuff like that. So they are very loving. They should be expecting us at the top three. They should expect us to come out top three because we've made up our minds to do that and definitely we'll always come out as top three. Because we, we are never known for giving up and that's a slogan. Our coach always say never give up. So they should they shouldn't give up. We'll come out top three. I believe so.